Hello everybody, my name is Elliot. So good to see you for yet another midweek motivation. Now, I don't know about you, but I have always struggled with forgiveness. I don't know if you have, but I, for me, it's been something I, I used to struggle with even more. I've gotten a little better at it, but it always felt to me like forgiving someone was like giving them a pass. When, when someone has done something wrong to me, I, I, don't, I don't know how to forgive them because it feels like I'm, I'm, I'm letting them go or I'm letting them get away with what they've done. Now, I know this is something that actually we all struggle with. All of us, if we're honest with ourselves, we know we struggle with letting things go, forgiving people at times. But what I want to tell you today is that God in his word has actually shown me over the course of my saved life, and I started reading this, this word and putting it into practice in my life, that it's actually, I was thinking about it all wrong. And maybe you have too. And I want to share with you a different perspective today about forgiveness that I think will be groundbreaking and life-changing if you can put it into practice. It goes like this out of Matthew 6. This is Jesus talking in Matthew 6, starting in verse 14. If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. Wait a second. Hold on. If I forgive someone else, then God is going to forgive me. Hold on a second. Okay. But if you refuse, verse 15, to forgive others, your heavenly Father will not forgive your sins. Now that's, that's a big deal. And I began to realize over the course of my adult life, over the course of my spiritual life, that forgiving others has a lot more to do with me than it does with the other person. What God is saying is, if you, what Jesus is saying is that if you can learn to forgive the people around you when they do you wrong, you're not setting them free. You're not releasing them from some trap or some prison. You're actually releasing yourself. You're setting yourself free. Forgiveness frees you. It doesn't free the other person. It frees you. Man, I hope this motivates you today that if you're hanging on to anything, husbands, if you're grumpy at your wives for anything, I pray that you would forgive them and, and truly forgive them. Wives out there, I, if you're holding on to any, any kind of you know, there's a lot of things to be mad about your husband about. <laughs> there's plenty of it. I know, because I are one. There's plenty of things to be mad at us about. But I pray that you would forgive them because it's going to release you, not them. It's going to release you. It's going to free you. Forgiveness frees you, not them. I'm telling you that if you can do this in your life, that it's going to change literally everything. This forgiveness is such a huge topic. It has everything to do with the whole gospel. Everything that the Bible has to say about our lives has to do with forgiveness. This topic is bigger than a three minute talk, surely. But we can, we can really get a lot of what we need based on these two verses right here with Jesus saying, if you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly father will, will forgive you. But if you refuse, notice that word refuse. I refuse to forgive them. I refuse to forgive them. Your father will not forgive your sins. Now, I know it can be tough. It can be tough to, to let go. But know this, for, forgiveness is not permission. Forgiveness isn't saying what you did is okay. Like when someone says they're sorry to you, we have a tendency to say it's okay. No, let's, let's, we don't, you don't need to say that. You don't need to say that it's okay. What we need to learn to say is, 
I forgive you. It doesn't make what you did okay, but I forgive you. Sometimes we gotta say it a lot of times. Sometimes we gotta say it in our head a lot of times. Sometimes we gotta say it in our hearts a lot of times. And I pray that you would do just that. Lord, I pray right now that you would soften our hearts to have forgiveness, to be a forgiving people, that we would for learn to forgive others so that you would free us from our bondage of unforgiveness. In this Christmas season, as we're walking this out, as we're trying to experience joy, God, I ask that you would soften our hearts to forgive the people around us. In Jesus' name, amen. We love you, God bless you, and we'll see you again very soon.